Welcome back, True Seeker. I've been predicting the future for over nine years straight accurately. I get annoyed when people are like, hey, your predictions are nowhere near Nostradamus. You know what, you guys? This is not a false statement. I could wipe my ass with the name Nostradamus. Literally. Literally. But yeah, again, if you guys have not read the notes with your own eyes, I'd go over the notes, I'd read the conclusions. And um, that, to me, there's quite a few. I, I expect that we're going to have a good day tomorrow. You know, th there's some games that look good, but we'll see about that. So nothing's changed in my thinking. I like Jimmy G to get his 40th win over the Atlanta Falcons, the 40 team. He'd stay on 15 losses in the regular season. Um, I, I favor that narrative in this game. The How about shut the fuck up, morons? I'm not wrong about anything. Patriots at the Browns. Bill Belichick, again, his next loss is his 103rd loss. His original team was the Browns. Perhaps he gets his 103rd loss against the Browns. If he does, if Bill Belichick loses, I think the top clue in this game is Bill Belichick. If he loses, he will become 8-3 and three versus the Browns as the coach of New England. Cleveland Browns, 83. Bill Belichick equals 83 in the same cipher. Football, 83. So I, I'm thinking that that's probably it, that he gets his 103rd loss. Yeah, I think the top clue is Bill Belichick potentially losing to his original team, falling to 8-3 and three versus the Browns. So I think there's a little bit more there for the Browns, who are slightly favored at home. How about shut the fuck up, morons? I'm not wrong about anything. And then coming back to this Jets at Packers game. If the Packers win, they would be 4-4 four and four at home versus the Jets. Remember, Packers in Wisconsin equals 44. If the Packers beat the Jets, they'll be 6-8 and eight versus the Jets. 68 was a big year for the Jets, their only Super Bowl winning season. Um, Zach Wilson, he could, he could get his 7th away loss. He would fall to 2-7 and seven away. Um, 27 is a number to keep an eye on all season, just because it's the 103rd NFL season. 103 is the 27th prime, but he could fall to two and seven away. And again, facing Rodgers, Rodgers is Mr. 103. And also, I notice if if the Packers win this game, they become three and one at home. Their next home game is against Dallas, and both Dallas and Green Bay are 41. And you could see that being a big game if the Packers started playing better. And uh, Packers could upset, uh, maybe upset Dallas, who might not have many losses by the time that game comes around. And um, again, I just see if Packers win the next two at home, they're 4-1, and one, and it's a Dallas-Green Bay game, 241 cities. So that's another reason I think the Packers get it done here. And if the Packers do win, they will be 4-2 and two for the season. They play the Commanders next, which equals 42. There's never been anyone more right who's walked on the face of this fucking earth than yours truly. The Jaguars and the Colts, this game right here, it's Matt Ryan's stat that stands out the most. Matt Ryan can get his 66th home win in the regular season, and he would get his 123rd win in the regular season. Jacksonville Jaguars is 66 in the most peer, 123 when you flip it around. So how perfect for Ryan to get his 123rd win and 66th home win and do it in Week six. So I, I think that's the top clue in that game. So I, I like Matt Ryan to get the 66th home win here. Colts take it. <laughs> Vikings and Dolphins. The big clue here to me is Kirk Cousins. He can get his 27th away win. Pretty good number in Miami historically. Miami's 27 in the most peer. If Cousins does win, he'll be 4-5 and five versus the AFC East. Miami's 45 in the most simple cipher. So I, I like the Vikings here on the road. They are a three-point favorite. But yeah, it, it's Cousins' 27th road win in Miami. Consistent number there that stands out the most to me. <laughs> Bengals and Saints. Dalton, who's in for the Saints, who played the majority of his career with the Bengals, can get his 75th career loss. Cincinnati Bengals is 75 in the most pure cipher, so that stands out the most. This is the perfect game for him to get the 75th loss against his, mostly his career team. Another number that I love in Saints games is 19, and Zach Taylor, the coach of the Bengals, can get his 19th regular season win, Saints 19.
So, yeah, I, I, I like the Bengals here. I like the Bengals to beat the Saints. Okay, next game, Ravens at the Giants. If the Giants lost this game, they'd be 2-5 and five versus the Ravens. Both the Giants and Ravens are 25 in the most pure. Um, the thing that really screams out about this game is Lamar Jackson. We, we know about the way the NFL loves to bring the rituals together with their black athletes, connecting the numbers 42 and 59. Again, slavery 42, slave 59, and the list goes on from there. But Jackson can get his 42nd win in his 59th game. Again, it is week six. Saturn does have that Gematria 42 as well. But just the way 42 and 59 are, I can't fade that. So I, I think that's the top clue, the 42 and 59. So yeah, I favor the Ravens here. How about shut the fuck up, morons? I'm not wrong about anything. Bucks and Steelers, I, I, I can't fade this right here. There's just one thing I'm looking at in this game. Well, I'll mention this too. The Steelers can fall to 9-3 and three versus the Bucks, just that Saturn 93 thing. But um, Brady comes into this game 9-3 and three versus the Steelers in the regular season. If he wins, he'll be 10-3 and three in the 103rd season when Steelers is 103. So, and, and Brady can also get his 13th win versus the Steelers if you include the playoffs. 13, the sixth prime. So, week six. So I, I like Brady here. I like Brady here. The uh, the ten and three riddles have been pretty good this year. They've missed a few times, but where the teams had the one hundred three connection, they've been rock solid. And you have that in this Steelers game. Steelers would fall to one and five with a loss. Tampa's fifteen. You know, there's one more thing I didn't write down that I'm going to write down right now for, that can go in the Bucks' favor. Bucks can get to three and zero away. Steelers also equals one hundred thirteen, which is the thirtieth prime number, and Tampa equals thirty as well. So yeah, it, ultimately for me, it's just Brady getting to 10-3 and three in the regular season versus the Steelers. Steelers, again, 103, 103rd NFL season. <laughs> okay, Bills at Chiefs. The whole media is on the Bills to beat the Chiefs. It, this is reminding me, of, from listening to everything I heard, everybody's picking the Bills to beat the Chiefs. But I, I think, I, I still like the Bills to win 14 games. Their, their schedule's not too tough. They might lose this one, though, and fall to 4-2, and two, and the reason why is right here. Mahomes can get his 63rd win. Buffalo equals 63. Again, it's both teams' 63rd season. He could also get his 27th home regular season win. Buffalo, 27 in the most pure. And what's amazing is when it comes to the franchise wins, the Chiefs are 306 and 186 and 4 all-time at home. 307 is the 63rd prime number, so they can get that 307th win as well in this game. And this is easily, this is probably the regular season game of the year. And then the other thing that, that I like about the Chiefs winning this game is we know how big 14 is this year with Buffalo season. If Allen loses to KC, he's going to be 1 and 4 versus KC, and KC equals 14 in the most pure cipher. So, uh, the one thing that I really like about this game, the whole media is selling Buffalo to win. And, and then the other thing I like is, is the way the numbers line up. The numbers line up very well for the Chiefs, who the media is already sold to lose. I mean, it's pretty, if you watch the media, this game's already over. The Bills already won. I, I, I like the Chiefs here. I like the Chiefs. Okay, Andy Reid. Let's get it all in. 116. Oh, yeah. God. See? And now it gets even better. It just got even better. So look at that. His next all-time win with KC is 117, and that's a huge number with the Buffalo Bills. Remember, the top shooting was 117 days of four. So, yeah, that's that's that makes it even better. And on top of that, Reed can get his 117th win all-time with the Chiefs. Buffalo Bills. I mean, this is a super alignment, this game. But yeah, I mean, that, that, there, there's a lot of alignment there for, for the Chiefs to get it done. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! One, two, three, four, five, six. There's never been anyone more right who's walked on the face of this fucking earth than yours truly. I mean, 
this is why stupid people shouldn't use Gematria, man. You need to retire, and you need to shut it down. Hey, there's pretty much only two things that are making me feel bad in my life right now. One is, so often when I talk with my mom, because we get into a fight almost every time, it, but um, that's the one thing. And then the other thing that bothers me is when I have a bad day with sports picks, like yesterday. We, we, we dominated week five of the NFL. Bullshit. Yesterday was like a 50-50 a day. And that's a terrible day in my opinion. But it, that also drives me nuts. And it wishes I never decoded sports and pick sports. But ultimately, we still do better than we not. But I, I hate when I have a bad day. And then sometimes it always makes me think, should I stop doing this? Should I stop decoding sports? But When I do, then people get even more hurt because they want the information. But the reason we have bad days sometimes is I swear to God, I, I think it's Vegas, man. I think sometimes there's just too much money on one side of a game and, and they got to flip the outcome because it's just like, Ugh. but yeah, these are the two things in my life that I debate on all the time. Anyhow, just want to say to everybody, thank you who supports the work. For us in the community, it was a, it was a mediocre slash disappointing week six. I thought we'd have a better week than we did, but at least we closed it out with a W. The fuck are you talking about? We said if Eagles won last night, Chargers should get the 13th home win for primetime teams. And um, that is what happened, so... Guys, this is just getting slapped in the face. Bitch slap, bitch slap, bitch slap every day. How about shut the fuck up, morons? I'm not wrong about anything. I've been predicting the future for over nine years straight accurately. I get annoyed and people are like, hey, your predictions are nowhere near Nostradamus. You know what, you guys? This is not a false statement. I could wipe my ass with the name Nostradamus. Literally. Literally. There's never been anyone more right who's walked on the face of this fucking earth than yours truly. Stop lying. You know, every year you're just a liar. That's all you do. You just lie about everything. There's no truth that comes out of your mouth. You know? Till next time, truth seeker.